Welcome everyone to this playthrough of Eleven Football Manager. We are cosplaying today as Red Bull London. They have just taken over Newbie FC, a team who just got promoted to the Football League. And we've been hired not only to keep them up, but we also have to train up three youngsters, proper Red Bull footy style. And we also need to build up our staff by having at least four different sets. Our board has been assembled with Anna, Carl and Jason Statham lookalike Alex, giving us another free staff member along with gains to the strength stat. So that means we have our first team coach Paul along with Mindy helping with sponsors, something Red Bull are really good at. But our weekly intake stats are lacking in the money department along with us not having many fans yet. And yes, I did realise only when editing this video that she is a Rogue 4 Plus player card. I do believe I accidentally shuffled everyone in here and I really shouldn't have. This is the only one I sign though. Future spoilers. In terms of our tactics though, we can play either a 5-4-1 or 4-3-3, which is my preferred formation. We have inherited Marty, who's the veteran player and captain here. He's a three power rated defensive midfielder, but he is a bit injury prone these days, so we need to keep on top of his fitness. And as you can see down the bottom, our other club goal is to have the operations side of the club on rank 5 before week 5. So Red Bull want us to get our backroom and business in check early. But here is the player market for the first week. There's a very tasty keeper right there ready to be signed who can stop three shots. And here is our staff and sponsorship market for the beginning of the game. So let's get started shall we in week one of six. And it's Monday and that means it's a board meeting day with Red Bull throwing out demands for us to play Salzburg or Leipzig and no doubt get thrashed but our board tell them that we will do it during the winter break which does mean that we get one euro extra to spend but marty our only player right now will be suspended for our first match so we go on to tuesday and we sign up our first youth graduate who is a forward of some sort on wednesday we decide to train him up by using our coach and boom would you look at that, we have got a superstar winger called Afumba. Hopefully he will excite the crowd as he will have four power going into that first match. But for Thursday's action, we give Jackie's Burgers a shout out so we can gain five euros. Would have loved to use the main action on this, but signings are more important now. As we use the two operation tokens we've got to sign Textera. In goal, a bloke with three level one save tokens. Hopefully that will do gangbusters for us in the match. As we go into the weekend, we are playing a Brickton, who are apparently a bit rubbish, but have got a great right winger and will focus on defence more than anything. So I have gone all out 4-3-3. Marty is of course missing the match but both Afumba and Textera are playing and I've gone right wing for Afumba inside forward style so he can hopefully score but let's see what happens shall we. As the final score is 2-2. Our first match is a draw. Afumba of course bagged himself a goal along with number 6 as number 5's header was saved. We couldn't stop their three power winger or two power centre midfielder though without Marty who will be available next match and so it's a score draw but for our match consequence we will only go and roll a blooming six so we get to freely train a player and of course I chose the goalie making him power two with two save markers going into the worst part of the game for me right now though, we roll randomly for all of that team's results. And the Bulls are the only team who have zero points, whilst all the Reds 
have three. Remember, we only need to avoid relegation, so all we have to do is avoid the bottom two. Hopefully a couple wins will push us right up the table. But we press on now to week two and we pay out the four upkeep. Players' wages are a pain, so we could do with some more sponsors this week, I feel, to give us a boost. But Monday's boardroom meeting sees the board moaning about fitness issues. No doubt Statham's angry about our draw the other day and now believes that is what will push us up the table as we lose money, bringing in Mr. Motivator, leaving us on one euro for the week. But we do get a permanent strength, so that is now on five. So on to Tuesday we go, and the first thing I do is hire a young start before using two operations to put swing cassettes on the ad boards giving us three euros and one euro extra for next week. On Wednesday then, I not only hire my last youngster I need, but I use my last two operations to use Mindy's ability, illegally of course, because she shouldn't be here, but it does let me get Play Fair Toys as our shirt sponsor, Boosting the operations to four instead of the money, which it shouldn't be, but regardless, that's how it was. And it does give us a euro spent back, and it also lets us train our two newest youngsters, who end up being power two players, Sun and Bianchi. But as he loves number seven, it does mean only one of him and Marty can ever play on the Saturday, unfortunately. So on we go into Thursday and I decide to fill out the ad boards by bringing in super delicious bananas, giving me that last point on the operations track, which will complete our team objective and give us 4VP. Of course, it shouldn't have happened at this point, but... We'll get into that in a minute, as we are looking good on paper right now, and that confidence is getting me pumped up for this match against Middleham, as we know they play 3-4-3, and their defence is apparently crap, whilst their midfield is very powerful. So I play Tex, Afumba and Sun, and no doubt Marty in his last game before I sell him. I've given up the centre as I believe they will be strong there, but I have overloaded the wings in this 4-3-3 in the hopes that I can score one more than them Vindaloo style. So let's go on to the result, and it is our first victory, 2-1. My overload on the wings ended up being a master stroke. They really didn't test us much outside of that three-star midfielder scoring a goal. Our defence and goalkeeper was solid, but we kept peppering them with shots and eventually a lumber and number 11 got us the win. So on we go to match consequences and since we won, we got a temp boost for one of our players. And so I decide to give it to Sun, granting him three defence power for the next match. And that win has shot us up the table into third place. Middleham and Cornfield, who we will be playing very soon, are rooted in the relegation zone. So as we go into week three, this is what we now earn on a weekly basis. We only managed to keep one strength last week. But now we have an important player's agent moaning at us. Of course, it's got to be our wonder kid, Afumba, who keeps scoring. But we do end up rolling a six for the result, which does mean we promise to play him every game. And realistically, unless he's suspended, we will. So let's hope we don't lose him to that, because as soon as he doesn't play, he's out of here. So on we go now to Tuesday and we need some funds. So the first thing we do is give the Gamers Cafe Club a shout out earning us 5 euros before spending 2 operations to sell on injury prone Marty for 4 euros. So now 
as a club, we are pretty much rich. And on Wednesday, we use that newfound wealth to purchase another ad board, which we then fill up with Posh Cars sponsorship, earning us our money back and giving us four on the weekly income. Lastly, on Thursday, we decide to hire Jose Miller before he disappears as he is a blue staff member, meaning we only need one last alternative colour to complete our last season goal. But now... It's match day and we are going against Blackstone Kings with a 4-4-2. Their defence is apparently stacked, so I've opted for the 5-4-1, focusing on the wings once again to try and score my goals with all my team playing and the result is only 1-0 to us with a fumba bagging himself yet another goal down that right flank. Either way, with our setup, it was going to be one goal to zero as we fully shut them down. And our shots peppering from the wings was way too much for their keeper, it seems. So our match consequence sees us get a temp decrease to Bianchi. So he might not be playing in the next match. Anyway, going into week four, this is the league table. As you can see, we are sitting pretty in second place, meaning we now have breathing room, so might be fine team-wise for the time being, especially when this is our earnings after spending maintenance costs. As you can see, I've saved my four, as that should be all I need for next week. But going into our board meeting, we are greeted by the People's News who want to follow our staff and our board decide to let them. But it does mean that we can take advantage of using the operations as fans. And we do that on Tuesday by buying two more stand openings, getting in the stewards as we want a bumper attendance for Cornfield, as it will mean Sun will then score. It does, though, push our maintenance up by one and into the yellows. So on we go to Wednesday and we decide to use Jose to buy Kovalenko for one euro. Training him up with Paul and Kov has a very good boost as an attacking centre-back where he can gain six power for spending two training tokens. That is mental does leave me on Thursday to only be able to give a shout out to Football Insiders though who then give us five euros for the pleasure. So on we go into match day we are against Cornfield who play 4-3-3 and focus on attack with a poor midfield. So I've decided to stick with a 5-4-1 packing out the defence and going for counter attack footy in midfield as Bianchi is the only player missing out. So let's play the match. And the result is 3-2 to us. What a close, hard-fought match that was, with only our full stadium giving Sun a boost and Kovalenko's training, meaning we snatch victory as our centre-backs nodding goals from corners. They attacked heavily, and they shouldn't be near the bottom of the table, really. Regardless, our match consequence is a six, so we do get a permanent fan boost. Everyone suddenly loves Red Bull London. And it's no wonder why, as we go second in the table, and we confirm our safety with two matches to go. Cornfield and Middleham only have two points so the max they can get is 8. We have 10, so we basically win the scenario. But now, we need to maximise our victory points. And going into week 5, after running costs, this is what we have to work with. I want to get those fans up going into the last game, as the team is pretty much sorted now. But board meeting wise... Our players are getting a little bit too big for their boots as they demand a wage rise, which our board 
suddenly agreed to, no doubt in the belief that Red Bull will increase funds if we get promoted. And so we lose one permanent income, but we gain one permanent fire. And that fire goes straight onto Kovalenko, who can now get boosted to a 4 or a 7, almost guaranteeing a goal every single game. So on we go to Tuesday, where we buy some stadium lighting, funding it with my shout out to emergency employment. On Wednesday, I hire Hiroki. And on Thursday, I hired Simpson because of the VP bonus. But as it's now week five, I would at this point have got the bonus that I got earlier that I discovered in this edit. So yeah, I would have got those for VP. I do though also give another shout out and got yet another five euros. Having that money boost being unlimited as it says in the rule book because I did have to check. It, for me it seems a little broken especially when you get to that midpoint when your team is sort of sorted. But anyway it is match day and we are against the Greytown Bulls who are on a bit of a win streak. They have a 5-3-2 with a loaded midfield, so I have scattered across the pitch, and the result is a 2-2 draw. We couldn't stop their 3-4 and four power guys, and they couldn't stop a Fumba or Kovalenko, who seems to score every single game now. And Steelchester, the team we play next, also draw, which means this match will be the title decider on the final day, with Cornfield stuck on a rock bottom. Now, income costs us €6 Euros a game. Red Bull are very happy, as we have gone above and beyond this season. We have some potential players we can sell in the summer, and no doubt we will attract better stars. But this is it. Final week. Let's do this. And we start off by discovering some twat of a fan has crashed into our team bus. Our board decided to raise ticket prices to get the funds back. And as our income is now lower, we do get the bonus money without fan loss. And it was at this point I also realised I'd forgot to roll for match consequences and number 8 got blooming injured. No doubt in the bus accident. Lucky for us, he is just a regen with not much to do, so I decide to buy two office upgrades and then give a shout out to Sport Drinks. And this is it. Steel Chester play 3-5-2, focus on counter-attacks through the midfield, meaning I decide to match them with a very defensive counter-attack in 5-4-1. Loading up the wings once more, as I hope my centre-backs will score headers on corners, and the result is a 3-1 victory for Red Bull London, meaning we only blooming go and win the league on our first attempt. Goals from Sun, Kovalenko and Afumba seal the deal, and we can now go on parade after the inevitable pitch invasion that happened. What a day for all the team and staff. What a season as we finish with 53 victory points, also meaning we are a promising manager. No doubt we will attract interest from other clubs in the summer. Regardless, this game was actually super fun. I might be biased as I love the footy theme and love footy manager. Yes, it could do with a different league match engine, but I would like to try out other scenarios and maybe even the campaign in future. Please assist the video by liking and commenting as your views will dictate future playthroughs. So share it with friends if you've enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.